So this is a genuine write-up on the Twitter by one Mr. Austin Ngabufo, okay, and uh, and uh, he is writing about uh, Isa Pantami, the Minister of Communication under Buhari's uh, government. Wow, so Austin Ngabufo is saying here, Isa Pantami, uh, ex-Minister of Communication, looted nothing less than 21 billion US dollars, the ministry he controlled, buy one tablet or fairly used IPU system for $8.3 million used for a tablet, okay? USD, USD, yes, $8.3 million US dollar for a tablet that costs barely 300,000 Naira at the point of landing. And yet, Isa Pantami is walking the street of Abuja free afterwards. So this, almost everybody that worked for uh, Buari stole heavily. But I'm not sure Buari knew what some people stole. Even the Attorney General Federation, Malami, if we dig into Malami's record, you find that Malami's record will be the worst. Okay? Might be the worst of all. So this is what uh, Austin is saying, that Isa Pantami needs to be proved, okay, that he squandered and looted over 21 billion US dollars. And they say Nigeria doesn't have money. Meanwhile, the government officials are parading themselves in dollars, not even in Naira. And they are forcing Nigerians, ordinary Nigerians, to use Naira. How bad this system can be. Eh? This is terrible. And one of us still wrote, he said, um, he boasted that touching uh, will lead to automatically increasing the activities of Boko Haram and other bandits with Fulani henchmen not being exempted. Uh, we also boasted that, okay, so these are the things he's, uh, he said. So can anyone actually loot $21 billion? That figure is too massive. In Nigeria, it can be more than that. Yes, he did. And he replied. All these are from Twitter, communication between us to him before and some other person. It means that he got the information correct. Eh? He got the information correct. He knows what he's saying. He did. And if it's possible, look at the NIN project that he did. Where did where did we arrive at today? He said he was going to do that to be able to track and arrest bandits and uh, terrorists. How many did they arrest? At the end of the day, they forced Nigerians to be queuing in front of commercial bank to go and update record. But at the end of the day, nothing happened. Now, this new CBN government is coming to say that people should submit social media handle to, ma to manage uh, or to track people that are spending money on terrorists or, or whatever, more financial movement. The ones that have stolen, go and probe them. Okay? The ones that have done evil in the past eight years of uh, uh, Buhari's government, go and prove them first and recover what they have stolen before you come to uh, uh, present day to come and disturb people's life. Mm -hmm. So that is what Umar Bufa is saying, that Isa Pantami stole so much. Eh? Isa Pantami stole so much and nobody is talking about him and is walking the street of Nigeria free of charge. How can this be? Mm -hmm. How can this be? Somebody is said uh, you are getting irritating with your ugly analysis every day. Do you know the meaning of 21 billion USD? It is time for you to tell us as a lawyer how many cases have you won? Can you imagine? And somebody has, and he has responded, say more than 500 cases. Okay. As a lawyer, which you claim you are, please send your petition to EFCC. Bagam. That is where the issue will end now. Who told you that EFCC is not reading me? Just go and sit down. And he's still chatting with everybody online. Okay? I said, are you sure you passed law school? In fact, degree self, are you sure not be someone qualification you did use? Can you imagine? And he replied again, see, with LLM. Because it's an LLM. Okay? <laughs> Now, wow. And some of our wonderful citizens will tell you we are a broke country. That is the problem we have. This man is saying what he knows, and it's not, it's not, it doesn't, he's saying the truth. And before he said it, probably he has record as a lawyer. 
Okay. Now, uh, and some one of citizens will tell us that Nigeria is broke. Twenty-one million liters is from is from Niger or Niger. <laughs> it's twenty-one billion we're talking about. Until we punish this level of wicked crime, Nigeria ain't going anywhere. That is true. Twenty-one billion, ha. The smallest gadget to record life makes life and work easier. Okay. So I retract this statement or we take legal action against you. So uh, Abdullahi Misili has threatened Austin Grand before to retract the statement or they will take legal action against him. So this means that Grand before should be ready because this statement, they are going to come for him and they are going to uh, sue him to court if he fails to sue Pantami ahead with proof that he has. He better take that action or this Isa Pantami and his cohort will take the action first against him. And in that case, it's going to be difficult for him to explain himself out of the situation. Okay. Uh, so Anaba is writing here, one of the biggest criminals in Buhari's government underrated. And that is true. Everybody that worked for Buhari stole billions, not millions. And they were busy packing dollars, not Naira. That is the truth. Eh? Somebody say, go arrest him. Eh? They call him weary. Who tell I say, now who tell I say, now weary. Can't leave, take the matter to a real court, not Twitter court. Exactly. Frustrated Ipobian. Can you imagine? Be fraud. So, because of where he come from, they are now linking it to his tribe. All thing one before has written again here. He said, Jagaban, go see me, I swear. And also, any ego man or woman who comes to Jagaban from the east and tells him that he is rooting for him, Jagaban should tell that ego man to first paste his poster in front of his door. Obviously, that person and his entire family will leave this east, this earth. <laughs> this guy means business, though. and the guy is, uh, is uh, an obedient. Okay. The guys are obedient. Agbados are interested in the Mefiele, not uh, not uh, Pantami and uh, and uh, what is Malami. <laughs> the Pantamis and the Malamis are working free. Meanwhile, the Agbados are looking for other people from Igbo extraction to show example with. Okay, somebody said this sounds. This is I'm say this sounds so much like Biafra's statement. Can you imagine? This is the lie of the century. I'm sure that the poor view of this cruel lie filled with hatred towards the Reverend, Reverend Professor and Islamic scholar of refuge must be an obedient. Lies and insults are obedience trademark. Can you imagine? They are not putting it on him that is lying, so he needs to take this case up, otherwise he will be by the by time they come for him, it will be very difficult. My friend actually posted a video of him in Mecca with some few notable politicians in Nigeria on WhatsApp yesterday and I typed tips and rogues in Mecca that Saudi Arabia have come have become desecrated land because of Nigerian politicians and that God is a merciful God. Twenty one billion naira dollar is the person planning to go and buy all the angels in heaven. What will one person do with the money he can't finish in his miserable life, even if he spends two million naira per day, or two million naira per day? Eh? Twenty-one billion dollars was the worth of the richest person in Africa, Dangote, at seventeen point eight billion dollars. There's something that connects Peter B and this and his follower. Lies. You will soon land in prison. So this guy, uh, Austin Grant before, need to prove what he's saying. Otherwise, he's going to ridicule himself, ridicule Peter B and Labour Party. That is what I can see here. Saying that um, Issa Pantami stole about 21 billion US dollars is something that they need to verify. So thank you for listening. But we know that a lot of corruption activities took place under Buhari's government. Some can't be quantified. That's how bad it is. Some are unknown. That's how bad it is. The ones that are known are doing with impunity and walking the street of Nigeria freely, 
hoping that nothing will happen to them. Quite unfortunate.